What up, though? Heist Man Defoe. Talk that talk. Ghetto news and opinions. Man. Choo choo. Choo choo. All aboard. The Corey Hogan clout train is in full effect. Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. I've been seeing all these videos. Everybody got something to say about the Corey Hogan situation. You know, between him and Zoe Williams been going on, man. It, it happened about two weeks ago, but. I ain't gonna front. I, I I got in on it too, man. I did three videos, man. They did about twenty thousand views between the three of them, man. And that's pretty dope, man, for me in this channel, man, because I be talking about other stuff. But I had to chime in on this, and it paid off, man. So thank y'all who all watched it. If you ain't watched it, go watch it. Blase, blase, blase. But we finna get right into the madness. We gotta talk about what happened last night on the fifty one fifty show with Corey Holcomb because more developments has happened. Um, for starters. Um, between the situation between them, Corey he came in to work a little happier yesterday. He was feeling a little good. He had a little extra bounce to his step when he came up in there yesterday. He hit a lick, a little lick though. They calling it the half a lick because Zoe Williams came up there and brought Corey Holcomb a check for ten stacks, ten thousand dollars, man. Um, Zoe didn't give it to Corey personally because Zoe wasn't there. He went up to the um to the spot, the studio, the U-Haul box, whatever they in doing the fifty one fifty show. No disrespect. He went up there and dropped a check off for ten thousand dollars, man. That's pretty dope, man. So he's taking steps into paying this man back his money. So I think that's pretty, you know, cool. Um I was just thinking though, like, man, how you hit that little lick that quick? You know, the half a lick. That's what they calling it. The half a lick. I was wondering, is Zoe out there selling books still? I mean, I know he's selling his books still, but what happened? Did somebody get a, like a big order or something? That's a lot of books. $10,000. I don't know. He also could have went on Shark Tank. They called Zoe the Shark. He got the shark fin head. He might went on Shark Tank and, you know, pitched the idea. He might have won some money. Got a little idea. He got the $10,000 to get a cord, though, so he did something right. Um... Or he he robbing people. He just hey, get, come here, give me the money, give me the money. I don't think he doing that, man. But regardless of the fact, he did pay some of the money. It's a, it's a step that he's taking. One thing I did notice about the show though yesterday, when it came on, D wasn't there. D was missing. D was on the back of a milk carton, and everybody started getting their feelings already. Oh, where she at? Half of the people was, and half of the chat hate her, and they be, man, thank God she gone, yeah, yeah, we don't know about if she gone or she not, but one thing Corey did say, she had like a little entanglement going on, she had something she had to do, she, he said she out there in them streets, he said that monkey out in them streets doing her thing, man, Um, so may, maybe she back, I mean, maybe she not gone yet, you know, she missed the show, it was like, oh, she missed the show. People start looking and wondering. I think she's trying to sneak out on the low. That's what I think. I think she don't want him to tell him. Maybe. Because she ain't never missed for no no D appointment. Maybe she have. I don't know. She don't miss that many shows though. But she wasn't there in this right at the same time. You know, conspiracies are out there, man. Another thing, um I'm gonna just run down this this episode. What came to my mind about it was um Corey said that Zoe, when he went on the Craig Fact Show, the Craig, not Craig, but Zoe had them guns with him. Them thugs. Them, them killers. Them. He said he had them with him. I don't know if he did, man, but um, y'all should check out Craig Fact Show. It's, it's show pretty dope, man. I got to give him credit for it. <coughs> <coughs> um, I, I was watching it yesterday before Corey's show came on, and he was talking about a... Uh, um, Talking about something. I forgot what it was. I, I forgot the DPHs or something. Something about personality dysfunction or something. And he was talking some real stuff. And he brought it back up on Corey's show last night. Like towards the end of the show. And it was like Corey wasn't hearing it or something. But he was talking some real stuff, man. Um, Big shout out to Craig and his crew over there. When they talking that stuff, they talking that stuff. Like he was talking about it. On his show, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. I understand this stuff. But he's talking with the record. Eh, it didn't go so well. It, it just, of course, started talking about something else. But we ain't talking about that right now. But big shout out to Craig Facts, man. That's dope. Um, another thing I noticed, though, is um, Corey said he did not call Zoe Williams. He ain't talked to him yet. 
And he ain't had no, you know, no call. I'm like, what? And he said the reason why he didn't call is because what happened with Grady last time. He tried to call Grady and talk to them, you know, talk to him, try to squash stuff and stuff just didn't go right. So that's why he ain't called Zoe, man. I think you need to go and call that brother, man, and um, make that call, man. You got some money now, you know, so call that brother. What else I want to talk about, man? I got some little notes for them. Oh, yeah, I got some more. Here you go. He addressed um the weakest link about um Zoe. He addressed that weakest link line, he said. And he said, um, at that time he felt like Zoe was the weakest link because he left him hanging out there on that on that bread like that. So he stayed on it still. He ain't like changing his mind or nothing because they came up after he got the money, he started acting a little happier. He looking at the chat and he was like, Oh, I wanna address the weakest link. So he addressed that too, man. So he still feel that way about that. Um I feel like he ain't got no more fight in him right now. Corey don't. You know, right now he don't, he don't want no smoke. He like, nah, I'm done with that, man. Um That's about it. He 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 backed off of it. He got some money now. Like when he first he was really aggressive the first time there was I'm going to do all this, I'm going to do all that So he, he ain't on that time right now Corey ain't, man, so that's pretty cool And the rest of the show, man, he had this this I don't know what the brother Ethnicity was up there He just kind of Talking slow and Methodical and lethargic and whatever You want to call them words, some big words He one of Zoe friends Though, the little I ain't going to call him fat I call him the bigger I don't know if he... He say he's from Auckland. So, he's New Zealand, South African. I don't know, man. I, he kind of scary to me, man. He was just sitting there. I don't know what he doing there. And he also had the brother Riz, Rizza Islam up there that I won't say nothing about because them people right there don't play no games. Look at this brother, man. He look real militant and... I believe he'll do, he'll do some damage to somebody, man. I don't... I ain't say nothing about him, man. Nice bow tie. But um, other than that, that about... Wraps it up, man. The show, the rest of the show was, that was it. I just want to say, man, um, quit watering down this topic, man. I see people talking about this topic so much, man, this Corey Holcomb stuff. And it's getting watered down. It's like, it's, it's he coming across my feed now, my um, my Twitter, not my Twitter, but my um, YouTube feed. That's all I see is like, it's only been like three episodes. Like he, they got into the argument the next day. I mean, the next episode was... I got you when I hit a lick, and this episode went on. I see people with like eight, nine videos talking about it. I'm like, man, like I, I made a few of them. I made three, but it was all spaced out. And I ain't trying to tell anybody how to do their stuff, man. But when you do a video every day about the same situation, it's like, man, oh, it's watering it down, man. So y'all quit watering down the product, man. Anyway, I'm gonna get up out of here, man, because I didn't feel, feel like I said what I had to say about this, man. Um. I said the comments I can say. I be trying to be a little professional on this YouTube stuff now. Except on Fridays, I'll get wild, man. I go live. Talk that mess. Anyway, man, like I said, I need to highlight me, man. I go live on this channel every Friday at 9 p.m. More cursing and drinking and smoking and spit and everything going on, man. I do that on Fridays. I can't do it right now. Um, I got to highlight me, though, man. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, subscribe button, the notification bell, the... All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. Y'all got to come through and holler at your boy, man. Like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through and join the conversation. And holler at your boy, Heist Man the Foe. Talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. Peace. Hold on, I got to hit this button one more time. I knew it. That's what it was. Them goons. Look at them goons, man. That's, that's what Zoe had up at the uh, studio of Craig Packs with him. I think that's why Corey don't want to do no more fighting no more. He's seen them goons. I don't know, man.